Okay, what we have here is a real-time non-neural network image analysis uh, application. In the, uh, the upper left you actually see the raw camera feed that's coming from my webcam. Uh, it's coming in at 30 frames per second. Now in the, below that you see the actual um, black and white translation uh, and both of those are actually used in the uh, the analysis. In the uh, upper right hand corner what you see is a uh, a high speed uh, edge detector that picks out the the dominant features in the uh, image and in the lower right you see the processed image uh, the final output that actually picks out the interesting features uh, in the image. Um, those features that are not uh, noise, uh, is, things like that and as you can see as I'll roll my uh, my little toy into the image you notice that it it picks up that as uh, being a very uh, very interesting image uh, it, it, it isolates it from the the trees in the foreground and actually shows you the the tank treads and the wheels and the uh, the main cannon and things like that so it it really kind of blanks out the tree it, it it sees the tree more as noise and it uh, it actually sees the tank as being uh, much more interesting than the tree and this uh, this helps if you are going to pass it to um, some other stages of neural network processing that would uh, enhance the the quality of the the data that you're actually processing uh, so you wouldn't get as many false positives now you'll notice that it is still picking up quite a bit of um, features from my motherboard which you can see in the background behind the trees uh, that's that's actually something that it, it would be interested in um, technology is is brought out more uh, man-made shapes are brought out a lot more than uh, natural shapes by this filter and this filter like I said is it's not neural network based it runs in real time uh, this application right now is uh, displaying all four uh, images, processing all of the images at uh, 30 frames per second. And if uh, if I bring up Windows Task Manager here, real quick, and come down here to the filter demo, you can see that uh, on a Pentium 4. 3.2 gigahertz uh, we're just barely running about 40 percent of the processor speed and that's uh, it actually runs a little bit lower than that when I'm not uh, running the video capture software uh, it'll usually run about 33 to 35 percent of uh, processor utilization so that's uh, that's that's pretty significant. Uh, it, that it leaves you a lot of horsepower to do whatever else you want to do. Um, I said this is um, it, it works really well. Um, I've found it to be very helpful in uh, some of my applications, and I look forward to uh, to developing new applications for this uh, technology. Thank you very much.